So in this video, I want to show you how to use the binomial distribution cumulative probabilities uh, tables that are in the back of the MEI formula booklet. This is on page 12. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a particular problem. So I'm going to work with the problem that we looked at in the previous video where I showed you how to do this you know, in the long winded way. So we're going to look at x being binomially distributed with an n of 13 and a probability of success at 0.15. Okay. And what we wanted to do was work out the probability of x being less than 3. Now, one thing you need to make uh, and get clear with the tables is that they only look for less than or equals to. Okay, so all of the probabilities are less than or equals to. There are no uh, less thans, there are no singular equals to. Any of those, or greater thans, any of those we've got to do some extra calculations to find. It's not too difficult to do that, but... Um, in order to use the probabilities, we're going to have to get it into the form of a less than or equals to. Now, the probability of x is less than 3, because this is a discrete distribution, means that this is the same as the probability of x is 0, 1, and 2. So less than 3 is 0, 1, and 2. We always start at 0, and we're all go always going up in 1s. So Effectively, this is exactly the same as the probability of x being less than or equal to 2. Because this is 0, 1 and 2, both of these are exactly the same for a binomial distribution. So I now have it in the format of a less than or equals to. So I can theoretically look it up in the tables. Now this is how you use them. Down the left hand side, these are your n's, and you'll see that go on the first page it's going from 1 to 7. And the probabilities, uh, the tables are, are getting wider for each one because there are more of them. Now we need to go down to n is 13, so we're going to have to scroll down, and that gets us onto page uh, 14. So I'll just move up a little bit. And here it is, n is 13 on page 14. Now, if we look along the top row, this is where your probabilities are. Now, you want to find the probability of 0.15, which is right here. So we're going to look down that column. So we look down that column for n is 13. And we want less than or equals to 2. And so it is this one here. This 0 0.6920. So 0 0.6920. So you can see how much easier that was rather than working out each individual probability. Okay, so using the tables, once you get used to it, it's really easy. There are some drawbacks. The drawbacks to the tables are that, well, it doesn't have every single probability in the top row. So you wouldn't be able to look up the probability of 0.11, for example, because it just isn't there. And on top of that, if you scroll down, or if I scroll down, you look further ahead in the book, it only goes up to n is 20. So if you wanted to solve a problem with n is 21 or n is 100, we don't have the tables for it. So there are limitations for the tables if we don't have the correct probability and the correct n. But for the majority of problems that we look at, these tables will do just fine. And we will work with these from now on. 